Hello everyone, I'm Tang from Jag Precision and I have some new products that are coming this year. Uh, this one's currently in the prototype phase. This is called the M-Tech. It's a series of uh, Beretta style pistols. These are going to be CO2 and green gas compatible. First it'll come with the CO2 magazine by default. And then what you'll notice right away is it is set up for an optic. I believe this is the first of its kind in Airsoft that has a Beretta style pistol with an optic. So it has an optics plate and integrated sight system. Now the grips are kind of in their pre-production phase so this might not be the final color. But we do have a black and a tan version. We expect this to come out sometime this year and the target price will be under $150 uh, USD for retail price. That's just a guesstimate for now, but we'll see. Okay, also on the topic of optics, we have the DEFCON 1 1911 by Echo 1. This shares a lot with the Wolf Spain 1911 where you could use the same magazine. This comes with a short uh, eight round style magazine, but the real capacity is much more. I'm calling it eight round because the real gun is about eight rounds. Uh, you can also use the Wolf Spain magazine, no problem. But again, what you'll notice here, same theme, is it's optics cut. Right now there's no Airsoft 1911 that's optics cut out of the box yet, and this one's just released not too long ago. So you have that, you have a 5.4 inch inner barrel and hand stippled grips. And you have ported barrel here too. So, and of course it's threaded for a uh, a barrel attachment already and internally threaded 11 millimeters so you can get a tracer unit or a mock suppressor or whatever you want and then also you have a very nice flat trigger here and this one's currently out now this one's from our friends over at red wolf uh, airsoft we may be carrying this in the u.s as a distributor this is their nighthawk custom 1911 so what you have here is full metal and a fully upgraded, very robust pistol out of the box. It is based on the 1911 uh, Marui MEU platform, so all the parts are interchange. And it's 100% going to fit if you want to upgrade or change anything out. This is going to be uh, about the same price as their uh, RWA Agency Arms pistol. I don't have the final price yet, but they said it's going to be around that, which is a very good value because when you upgrade a Marui 1911, you're probably spending at least $200 for the pistol alone before you buy all the metal upgrade kits, the trigger and all that stuff. So it's going to be 100% Marui compatible and then very high quality, good weight as a rail and then Nighthawk uh, licensing throughout. So very nice 1911. Our next pistol is an update to the RWA Agency Arms pistol. You'll notice this has an optics plate. This is basically the same as the original RWA EXA, except it now has the optics plate uh, add-on. So this will be separately sold, so you can update your legacy pistol, or you might buy it together as a package through us. And this part is made, uh, these are metal parts made by Red Wolf Airsoft. So coming soon to our Echo One line, uh, you'll recognize this one, this is the BTS. Uh, mods 2 and 3. These are the full metal guns that are OEM Sima Platinum. And then the one takes the M4 magazine and this one takes MP5 style magazine. Uh, we're gonna add to our lineup a new line of polymer M4s for the entry level player but packed with a lot of features. We're gonna target the price on the street for about $200 US dollar retail or under and it's gonna be a polymer body. I don't have a prototype here to show you yet, but it's going to be polymer body with an aluminum rail. Uh, it'll come with an M4 or SMG version, just like this one, with a, with a collapsing stock. And then inside is where it's really, really interesting. It's going to be a quick change gearbox. It's going to have a programmable MOSFET trigger and going to be come, come with a Dean's T-plug style uh, plug for the buffer tube. So it's going to be a very uh, competitive airsoft gun for the money.